Hey boys and girls, welcome back. We are going to be looking at the set of connecting rods we bought for our 2286cc turbo motor. So, we bought Seabird Performance, 5.5 inch long Chevrolet Journal H-beams, part number 2665 if you're wondering what they are. And they do put the torque on there if somebody's missing that for some reason. We will put there that they say 15 foot-pounds, then 20 then 25 and a final torque of 29 foot pounds. So these have the ARP 2000 bolts in them. And like we say, they are 5.5 inch long rods. So what that means, if you don't know what that means, is that the center of the big journal to the center of the little journal is 5.5 inches. Now, on a 86 stroke, this is probably one of the shorter rods that you want to use. Usually people use like a 5.7 or a 5.6 length rod in there, which is all good and stuff. But what we're trying to do here is build a motor that's really responsive on the low end, basically like a low end torque motor. Short motors typically build a better power range down low. Is it a dyno difference? That's debatable but it feel of the motor is just snappier that's the best way to say it it's a snappier motor down low plus the secondary reason is we don't want our cylinder head going so far out in no man's land that our fan shroud doesn't reach it anymore okay so i'm trying to keep this combination small short make all the engine tens line up i really don't matter about adding spacers but just getting the cylinder head so far out ends up making it where your fan shroud doesn't blow air down the cylinder head. And people wonder why their motors run hot. And you look and they got those quarter inch spacers, the empty cells between their 36 fan shroud and their engine tins. Well, that quarter inch is quarter inch of air not going in your cylinder head. Okay. It's going on your cylinders, but not the head. You need to cool the head. So off that little ramp, these are pretty good quality. These are not the top end, top end rods of the world here. Okay. These are not Potter 80 you know tool steel rods or anything like that these are pretty nice street rods and that's what we're going to be using so anyways boys and girls don't forget to like and subscribe get out there get your projects done and i'll see you later